Welcome to Bangkok Noi and Gloucester today. We're going to do a review of the restaurant. So, yeah, Gloucester, Virginia is where you need this fine establishment. Let's begin, shall we? So, Andrew, you work here as a waiter. In your well, I'm not just a waiter here, I'm also the manager. You're the manager at this establishment? I'm the manager at the establishment and also the head waiter. Okay. And part-time bartender. When did you start working at this restaurant? I actually started here when the building was built back in May of 2008. Interesting. Interesting. What, what's probably, like, any changes happening in the future do you know about? Trying to, uh, we're trying to build a patio outside, and that's a plan for maybe later this year if we can get it approved by the uh, county of Gloucester. Also, we might not have the live band come more often. So, any last words you are going to build a patio? Where's it going to be? It's actually going to be out on the field on the far right side of the restaurant. So that people can see the uh, see the whole parking area and it'll be open to access a lot of rooms. Open access, huh? Interesting. Well, that's interesting. Andrew, folks, he is a waiter at this establishment, Bangkok Noi, which I am interviewing and reviewing the restaurant. You will see a few other members of the restaurant in a moment. You you'll even get to see an exclusive restaurant interview with the band. Jeep Siam is steamed dumplings cooked inside a red curry with coconut milk poured on top and also sliced bell peppers and some cilantro on top. Now we are going to interview the band members of this band who is playing jazz here at Bangkok Noi tonight. Uh, the name of the band is Sideways Trio, but we're actually Sideways Duo tonight, because our drummer is not here. Right. Okay, the first question. When did your groups get together? Um, about a year ago. We started playing together about a year ago. J.R. moved here. We played the Birkin and Frigate in Newport News. Mm -hmm. That was our first game. That was the first game. Yeah. We've been a couple places since then, but... Uh, still hitting it hard, so. Okay, second question. Why did you decide to play at Bangkok Noi? Um, you know, we try to play as many upscale places as we can. I like the place, but we should play here, so we asked. And they have really good food. <laughs> yeah, I can't agree with you on that. Outstanding. How did you get your gig at Bangkok Noi? Like, like I said earlier, we were, we were in here on Valentine's Day, my wife and I, and, um, one of the owner's sons, Tony, was uh, was our waiter. And so I asked him, I said, uh, yes, yeah, it's a good name. It's a good name. Um, so I asked him, I said, hey, have you guys ever thought about having jazz in here? It's a really nice place. Said, yeah, it's a good idea. So he went and talked to his mom, and she came out and met us, and you know, asked me a couple of questions. And we just kind of set it up right there on the spot. And it was fairly easy, actually. You did that same day? We didn't play that day, but we booked the gigs that same day. Planning on it. Yes. Are you going to perform like next Wednesday or like? How are you going to do it? Well, um, yeah. What's I, the schedule? I, I don't know. They're still we're still trying to decide. We did a couple of Wednesdays, and there's some talk of maybe doing some Saturday nights. And That'd be nice. So what we're doing is we're trying to decide which night works better. So we'll definitely be here again. It may be on a Wednesday night. Um, maybe next Wednesday. I don't know yet. Um, or we'll be on a Saturday night. At any rate, we'll advertise and people will know your needs. Great. And yeah, that's our interview with you guys. Let's wrap that up now. Thank you. Hello. What's your name? My name's Carrie McDaniels. And you own the restaurant? Yes, we uh, started.
started the restaurant in May of 2008 after purchasing the old village Exxon station here in Boston. Okay, why did you choose Gloucester over a bigger city for this restaurant? Well, we thought that Gloucester had the most possibilities, especially Main Street, with uh, Gloucester's Main Street Association helping out on uh, promoting Main Street, and uh, we just felt like it was a good Okay. Do you own any of the restaurants currently? No, and we don't have any plans to open another one either. Okay. What gave you the idea for live entertainment on Wednesdays? Well, we were doing uh, Wednesday night wine specials, and we just thought that live jazz was well with wine. Okay. And last but not least, are you planning for anything new and exciting in the future? Well, we're really planning on participating in all the planned activities that the Main Street Association has for uh, the uh, businesses here on Main Street. And we're hoping that all the merchants will join in and uh, have uh, Main Street turn into a destination for people to come when they want to get something good to eat and they want to shop. And also, anything else you want to say promote? everybody to know that we uh, sell hard healthy food and that uh, everything is fresh and delicious. Right. That's true completely. Okay, well thank you for coming in and interviewing. I appreciate it. You're welcome. This is the Gang Penang Curry. It is my favorite dish at Bangkok Noi. This is a dish mixed with chicken, coconut milk, curry, and lots of other interesting spices and ingredients. This wonderful dish is made by the wonderful chefs at the Bangkok Noi restaurant. We thank them for such good food. Chicken pod pak, a combination of made vegetables to make a bountiful dish of eating this. It's really a dish for kings. Not my favorite, but it's a good dish. These are the chicken fresh rolls. They are chicken, lettuce, carrots, cucumbers, noodles, wrapped in a clear rice paper served with a peanut hosen sauce. Fresh rolls. This is some sort of cat I found a Thai restaurant who moves his arm up and down.